A group of 100 patients is tested for three risk factors for a certain disease until either all patients have been tested or a patient tests positive for more than one of these three risk factors. For each risk factor, a patient tests positive with probability P. The outcomes of the tests across all patients and all risk factors are independent. Determine an expression for the probability that exactly N patients are tested where N is a positive integer less than 100. So if N patients are tested, what that means is that the nth patient is the first one who has uh, more than one of the three risk factors because that's when the testing stops. So that's what we are saying here. If exactly n patients are tested, this means that the nth patient was the first one who tested positive for more than one risk factors. So now this should remind us of geometric distribution where um, we are uh, dealing with a situation uh, that the first success occurs on the nth trial. So in this case, the success is uh, being tested positive for two or more, uh, for, for, yeah, more than one means two or more risk factors. <clears throat> so uh, we will try to figure out what the probability G of this success is. We're calling it G instead of P because P is the probability, P is being used for something else in this problem. <clears throat> So let G be the probability of success of the uh, geometric distribution. And therefore G is the probability of a patient testing positive for one or more risk factors. And now we proceed to find out what this G is. So for this, we realize that uh, if X is the number of risk factors for which a patient tests positive, then X is binomial with n equals three, because uh, the maximum risk factors are three for which someone can test positive. And here the little p is just what the little p that they gave, because p is the probability that somebody tests positive for one risk factor. So remember, no, not this difference between little p and this g, little p is the probability that someone tests positive for one risk factor. So that's the probability of this binomial situation. Whereas the G is the probability that someone tests positive for one or more risk factors. And we're going to use this binomial situation to find this G. <clears throat> okay, so for the binomial, <clears throat> we know it's NCX and here is three, P power X, one minus P power N minus X, three minus X. And uh, G, as we said, is the probability that a patient tests positive for one or more risk factors. So over here, G will be probability that uh, X is greater than one, one um, of not, not one or more. Oh, okay, I think I have it wrong here uh, for more than one. So this should be testing positive for more than one. So I have it right the first time I wrote it, the second time I wrote it one or more instead of more than one. More than one. For more than G, P the probability of a patient testing positive for more than one risk factor. Okay. So more than one means uh, two or three. So it'd be f of two plus f of three. And we substitute the two and the three, find f of two and f of three, add them up. And um, here three combination two is just three and we have p squared times one minus p. And here three combination three is one, one minus p power zero is one. So we just have p cubed. So g is this expression. 
And now we have the uh, probability, G was the probability of the geometric distribution. And remember that for the geometric distribution, the probability uh, X is equal to N is equal to, so uh, since we are using this X as the number of risk factors and here it's the, uh, in, in the geometric distribution, uh, it's the number of trials it takes to uh, get the first success. So let's call it a different variable. So probability Y is equal to N. So uh, remember normally we write it as one minus P power N minus one times P. That's the formula for geometric distribution that the first success occurs in the nth trial. Uh, but in this case, we are using G instead of the P because little p is used for something else in the problem. And so we determined what G was over here. 3P squared, one minus P plus PQ. We substitute this in this expression. And that gives us um, one minus G. So one minus this 3P squared, one minus P. Um, so now when you subtract this part from one, you get my, my minus here and you get minus here, the negative distributes, that why, that's why we have the negative P cube. And then here it's just a G, repeat the G, and this turns out to be choice B.